All right, folks, after 14 of 30 races, here's what these points look like in the Winston Cup Series. Andy Dufresne, 39 points over Abraham Lincoln. We, we were talking about the, this is no surprise to people that have been paying attention to the series, folks. Andy Dufresne, we've been talking, talking him up. Here he is in the points lead now. But, ugh, Abraham Lincoln, Ben Bailey, Jesus, John Smith. We're, we were talking him up, him up, no surprise there. Uh, Raphael Barba off a big win, Loy Allen, but no, no new names really. There he goes. There you see Tango, 610 points back. He wants to be 420 points back by by the end of this race. It's not happening. So his second half's gonna have to be superb. Tango Spooner Jr. in the middle of three and four here. He's finishing his first of two qualifying laps at this massive speedway. Probably. Uh, I mean, easily one of the biggest, uh, that's a 46-6 on his first lap. He wants to get down to a 46-3. But yeah, this is one of the, uh, and this is <laughs> the Tegas Booner Jr. Hot Lap brought to you by Oscar Mayer Hot Wieners. They will be with us in the second half of the season. But yeah, this is one of the uh, biggest super speedways in the world and probably in the universe because it's safe to say... I don't know. We'll get into it sometime. It's just... The the chances that there's another alien civilization that holds stock car races. Like, what are the odds of that? So, safe to say this is one of the biggest tracks in the universe. As Tango comes through the triangle here. A 46-341. Eh, I'm going to say he's in the high 20s, low 30s, folks. The Pepsi 400, race number 15 of the Winston Cup Series schedule, takes place here at the iconic Daytona International Speedway, known for its high-speed thrills and adrenaline-pumping competition. This summer, uh, yeah, this summer race promises hot racing action as drivers battle for supremacy, while the infield buzzes with excitement, featuring unique attractions like mud wrestling that add to the festival atmosphere. The fans today can expect a captivating blend of speed, strategy, and entertainment, making the Pepsi 400 a must-see event on the NASCAR calendar. And we have it for you right here, folks. Let's check out this starting grid brought to you by 1-900-FUN-BABES. And this is the final Fox Sports slash PBS starting grid of the season. Uh, we're not sure if 1-900-FUN-BABES is uh, on board for the second half. But Casey Kane on the pole here with a 46-151. The bad guy, Razor Ramon beside him on the front row. Jesus Christ, our P3. He might be making his comeback. Mona Lisa. We got to talk about Mona Lisa, man. I, 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 I think I've come up with something with her. Um, John Smith, pig. Yeah, pig. John Smith, big points name. Starting P9. Andy Dufresne, a points leader, P16. Tango Spooner Jr., P25. Like I said, high 20s, low 30s, we're in there. And... Looking at the rest of the field, Pocahontas, Abraham Lincoln, Ben Bailey, some big points names starting near the back. Tango, you got to get going on this start. Stop being a chicken shit. And um, there you see the Ninja Turtles starting their P39. Pitter patter, let's get at her. All right, Tango. Your start at Michigan was a joke. People didn't come here for low T racing. They came here for just manly racing or womanly, I don't know, just good racing. And we can't have we can't have that low T racing that we saw at the beginning of uh, Michigan. So get on your horse, get to the front, and how about winning a freaking race? That'd be great for everybody here. As the cars stream down the backstretch here in Daytona, it's a hot one this weekend, folks. The, the temperatures are ridiculous, <laughs> and combined with the hot racing, there have been, there were some fears that it could, like uh, like a fire could like fires could break out here at the speedway due to all the heat. So the uh, local fire marshals here survey you know he's keeping an eye on things, monitoring everything closely here. 
and and he brought his whole uh, the whole uh, fire department with him. So there were there were I don't know there were like ten or fifteen uh, firemen in the infield, and during the shift change, uh, you know they were out there sweating, making sure everybody was safe. And but I, I was just like, hey guys, just come into the driver's shower with everyone. So. Uh, a bunch of the firemen, you know, they're in their 20s, whatever. They were in there showering and stuff. Some of the, some of the women were in there, too. <laughs> so. All right, folks, we have... Uh, looks like Tango's cockpit is going bullshit. If you can see that on the feed, but NASCAR says we're staying green. All right, Tango, this is low-T racing. So you better pick it up here. The folks, I mentioned in the uh, starting grid that uh, I think I've kind of cracked the Da Vinci Code with Mona Lisa. I think I'm going to have to... I think what's going to come down to is uh, I'm going to take the Turtles' advice where they were like, hey, you know, she's sad because her emotions are frozen in that painting. So I'm thinking I have to paint her, okay? And the downside is, you know, I don't know how to paint uh, somebody from the 1500s. So I'm thinking what I have to do is go to the Louvre or go to Italy. The Louvre is where the, she's at, but she was painted in Italy. And I, I don't know. That's that's a that. I might have to take a week off from broadcasting to go do that and go research how to paint her. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, that's a whole to do, and I don't know if it's... Andre, Andre. go, go the, the distance. distance. There's that fucking voice again. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm guessing... Uh, I'm guessing that means uh, the distance means I got to go to friggin' Europe. So I'll go. I'll do that. I'm probably gonna do it in the middle of the week so I don't miss this hot racing because we're going to. We'll be at New Hampshire next week, folks. Unless the Cup Series makes their stop at New Hampshire next week. So probably uh, this week I'll head to Europe and learn how to paint Mona Lisa. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is like this is like where in the world is Carmen San Diego, but for stupid people. Is basically what this is. Anyway, Tango flying under me right now. We'll send this to him. I just tried to pee on him. I couldn't. I, he's going too fast. Here you go, Tango. Thanks, Andre. Yeah, when I get on the back stretch here, I'm gonna escape and clean this up. Just something wild that happens with uh, Daytona. There you go. Yeah, my name's Adam. Thanks for checking out this, checking out the video. You know, Daytona probably gets a couple extra clicks by some people. Uh, it piques their curiosity. So they have no idea what the hell has been going on these first five, six minutes of this video. <laughs> but welcome aboard. Yeah, I, that was low T racing. I didn't even. What sucks is the start because I actually had to restart this race once because they're really there's some hitches in the giddy up on the initial start, and I the first time through I just slammed into Elvira, and I was gonna I was just gonna keep going with it, but I her car was damaged, and then if my car wasn't, I was just gonna say, you know, tough shit. But my car was damaged too, so I just restarted. That's why on the initial drop of the green flag, I was really on the inside because I didn't want to get bunched up and get into her. Yeah, 38 laps, pit window in the, uh, like, lap 15. So we're, like, halfway there. And I'm not playing Mr. Nice Guy this race. I'm going to... 
I'm gonna live a little dangerously. Actually, no. If I, if I want to win this, <laughs> so forget what I just said. If I want to win this, uh, if I want to win the Winston Cup, I gotta be consistent, but also good. So I don't know. We'll just take what the game gives us, I guess. One thing to be careful up here at Daytona is the weird, the weird places the AI spins out. It's not like it's not the usual just going into turns and coming out of turns. All right, be careful here. It seems like this is disaster is waiting for. Are they four wide up there? No, forget I said anything. I do not like this into the triable. I gotta give Clifford room to breathe there in the 33. Feels like something's something's about to give. Well, there goes all the cars. <laughs> That's not what I meant. All the cars just went Tron on us. I'm afraid to do this right now. I gotta do it though. I'm using like a um, like a better version of the body mod where you know in the distance you can make out the details of the cars better. We can tell who's who. And I think that's leading to a little bit more problems with the graphics getting funky at this Daytona. And again, you've been following all season. This is the only track that happens. Something with the conversion from N99 or something. I don't know. On a 30, 28 year old game, not the end of the world. Yeah, nobody blown up yet. No DNFs yet. But the more and more we just we're farting around back here without a caution, a win is not likely. So I just got to get a good top 10 here. But stay tuned. Watch the rest of the race. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Now we're moving. Who's this? Who's this? MLK in the Dream Machine. I thought he was coming down. And I bailed. As much as I've... You think that I've played this game? I haven't had too much experience on Daytona here. And I just don't know how weird they are in the tri-oval. I can predict, you know, we're finding patterns and they're, you know, squeezing us on the, squeezing up, uh, squeezing us up uh, on the wall and stuff like that. But this tri-oval, I just don't know what I'm in for every time. There's no game-breaking thing or else we would have seen it by now. All right, is this pit stops? Okay, good. And we we pretty much stayed up to speed there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll get past Abraham Lincoln there in the in the 16 first Union Sh Chevrolet. I forget the speed limit here. Doesn't really matter because we have the auto brake, but. I'm scared to pit right now, man. The, the, the race has been going too nicely. And we're probably going to... The screen's probably going to glitch out on pit road. We'll have to fix it again. <clears throat> Not a big deal. Okay, Clifford, big idiot. Oh, did I go too far? Yes, I did. 
Damn it. We should be fine. We should be fine. I don't think we're going to be fine. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Watch your speed now. Keep it on 5,500. Watch your speed now. Keep it on 5,500. All right, at least we're with people. At least we're with cars, but not who we should Watch be with. No, we're with, we're with some turds here that we were with. Okay. God, this is loud. <laughs> Pocahontas is on my sack here. I gotta get up the track. I can't. I can't live on the edge like that. I can't believe I blew through my pit stall there. Like a moron. Those are the mistakes that are going to cost us the Winston Cup championship. Pocahontas is just gone right now. I did not see Abraham Lincoln under me there. Come on, I'm waiting for my name to pop up pop up over here. Wow, what a fall from grace. Alright, there's a slow car going in, so I'm gaining that spot, whatever that is. I'm back here and pee. Friggin' idiot. Abraham Lincoln won't go away. Alright, I gotta fix this again. Need a caution. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen though. Alright, so I guess we got more pitters. We got more cars blowing up. That's MLK going down. That's another spot. This might not be a huge disaster. I mean, we'll keep an eye on the points names. I got a big name behind me, Abraham Lincoln. And who knows, maybe somebody spins out and we can get some, I don't know. It's not the end of the world here. You know folks, you listen to Tango talk and he makes it sound like this is real. <laughs> like he makes it sound like this is like a real thing that's happening that has high stakes and is important. No, Tango, just calm down <laughs> and just have fun with this clown game. Like, don't <laughs> but also, you know, try to win the championship. Anyway, folks, we're halfway through this thing here. 19 of 38 laps completed, or 18, I don't know, Gene Hackman. Big uh, name we never talk about, In the in, up, he's up there. Megan the Stallion, a big points name. And Wonder Woman, man. We don't talk about Wonder Woman at all. We have talked about her, but we don't talk about just her beauty. She's gorgeous. And I tell you why. Because she's so gorgeous that you don't want to, like, soil her <laughs> with your thoughts of, of treacherous acts, you know? I don't know. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it's just a gorgeous woman. Anyway, six through ten, we have uh, Mona Lisa. Another, you know, 
she's pretty too. <laughs> I messed up my own storyline there, but Mona Lisa's a babe. Come on. Uh, John Smith points name. Mona Lisa points the tango. You're going to have to turn it on in the second half, brother. Big time. Uh, my cat up there, Elmer Fudd. Mary Poppins. Rounds out the top ten. Jay Christ sitting P12. Martin Luther King and freaking Rowdy Burns have DNF'd here, folks. Um, you, probably, you probably saw that on the uh, on the feed there. Uh, just stay tuned for the commercial. We'll be back for more action and the conclusion of the Pepsi 400 here on PBS Sports. Next Thursday on the season premiere of 90210. I'm going to be a cabana boy at the Beverly Hills Beach Club. For Brandon, it will be a summer he'll always remember. Everybody who's anybody belongs there, and all i got to do is make sure they're having a good time. <clears throat> but for Brenda, it will be a time she'll never forget. I knew it was a mistake. Brad was great. Dylan, what if I'm pregnant? 90210, the summer. I need to break up with you. New episodes begin next Thursday on Fox. All right, folks, we're back here at the Pepsi 400 Daytona International Speedway. As I said, one of the biggest speedways, super speedways in the universe. Getting some great pictures here from our uh, Bud One airship flying high above the speedway. Budweiser is not signed on for our second half. <laughs> we'll figure something out there. Maybe I'm hearing Pennzoil. Pennzoil might sign on. I don't know. <laughs> uh, special treat for you, folks. Mic'd up this race. We have Winston Churchill, the old lion. He's running P34 right now. Hey, Winston Churchill, this is Andre the Giant with PBS Sports. Do you have a copy? Yes, old. <laughs> yes, old chap. I have a copy. Okay, Winston Churchill. Um... This is your first ever uh, season in the Winston Cup Series. You've been... Hang on. <laughs> okay, Winston, you're behind Tango. So, uh, hang on, Winston. We got action on the track. All right, looks like everything cleared up, Winston. Yeah, but hey, let's hope you're not wrecked, because that's usually what happens when we're talking to somebody. But, uh... What was I saying? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, uh, you were here for the Daytona 500, but you were all business. Now you're kind of relaxed. Uh, what were you doing this week? Well, my old chat. I heard they. I heard there were some male volleyball games <laughs> nearby on the beaches, so I went and met them on the beaches, and I played volleyball. <laughs> Okay, and you got to do me a favor. I'm trying to get with Mona Lisa. She sees you in the shower making all these advances on me. Um, you got to stop. You, you got to stop doing that. It's just awkward. And again, you know, maybe in a different, you know, maybe when you were in your peak, like during World War II and stuff, I would have been all busy. You know, I've been all about it. But uh, there's other stuff going on right now. I got Mona Lisa. Um, so I, I need you to stop doing that in the shower. I will. I will never surrender. <laughs> okay, Winston Churchill. If that was Winston Churchill, I don't think that was Winston Churchill. And let's hope he survives this. Doesn't wreck anybody. Uh, Tank has made some power moves. He's up to P26. Took advantage of my cat getting jammed up there on a wreck, it looked like. And the field got bunched up in front of Tango. And we have some hot pit stop action coming up, folks. I'm going to stay with you through those. Probably the main thing is just to coach Tango, make sure he doesn't shit his pants on the on pit road again. I'm hearing Tango's going in this lap. This is high drama, folks. Yes, he is going in this lap. 
Big hot stop coming here by Tango. Watch your feet. Watch your feet now. Okay, Tango, see that sign? You have to break there. There you go. Hey, what a pro. Fans. Fans going wild right now on the front stretch watching these hot pit stops. Tremendous heat here this, this week at the racetrack. Go, go, All right, Tango, go, go, shouldn't go, get, go, go. buddy. Keep it under 55, moron. 5, We've got just 10 more to go. 10 left. Tango, you have 10 laps left. I just heard on the uh, on the radio there. All right, Tango. You're off and running. I'm allowing you to cheat. If you can get off of this clown apron and get up onto the track, do it. Nope, there's somebody coming, Tango. Be careful. You can't do it. Oh, God in heaven. Okay, you're good. Okay, the leader is pitting now. Le the leader's pitting now, Tango. Elvis Presley is under your balls. Just stay up top. And stay up top the track, period, because uh, Elvis Presley's probably pitting. So stay out of his way. Yep. You listen to, the old, you listen to old Andre. He'll get you through the race. Tango, your cockpit view is bullshit right now. I'm having trouble figuring out what car is which. That's not my fault. And Tango can't escape and fix it because it's synced up with the replay going right now. And it's a whole thing to keep that in sync. But he's a pro. He's coming up on Andy Dufresne here. You better make your decision. You're going high or low on Andy. Just go high. There you go. Looks like you're going to be coming up on uh, Old McDonald. I don't know. Uh, Tango, you had a good pit stop there. Like, I wasn't... You shouldn't be losing too many spots. Hopefully you gain some here. But here's where the uh, here's where we'll find out. You're going to be flying through past pit road right now in the trioval. You should be gaining some just rapid fire spots if you're passing cars there. You know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there was nobody on pit road there. And Tango, your P35. Jesus, what happened there? <laughs> I uh, will send it down to Tango. It's I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happened either. I was P twenty six and just I, I I think they just get in down into pit road so much cleaner than I can, man. It's not even fair. Or maybe later in the race they just have <clears throat> they have smarter uh, pitting strategy here. So they knew just to take on fuel or something and their stops were shorter, period? I don't know. I mean, this is definitely an outlier kind of track that the same things don't apply as, you know, the same as the other tracks. And I haven't done enough experimenting with it. I'm going to fix this. <laughs> fix this here. There we go. So, yeah. A dud of a race, for sure. Not how I wanted to close out the first half of the season. Ew, make it, see, making the stallion ends up with an eight, nine second lead on the field. Yeah, I don't know about that. But every point matters here in the Winston Cup Series. Five 
Boy, this is a killer. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this is a killer points day. <clears throat> Casey Kane, the pole sitter, is back here, too. Megan the Stallion won somewhere. This will be her second win. Raphael Barba, man. P4. Abe Lincoln, we were running with him. He's up there, P6. But again, 16 seconds back. At the same time, if I know the system, like if I know on this second stop that I only have to take on fuel, then okay, I'll play ball there. But I just, like every track, you can just do a full pit stop every time, not worry about whatever strategy they're doing. So that's bullshit. But okay, my goal here is to pick up these four spots. I really have, I have very little to lose. So we're going to have some fun racing here. Do some things I'm not used to doing. Usually I try to sneak below Casey Kane. We're going to go high. See what life is like on the high side. Are we going three wide? You're damn right we are. No, Casey Kane chickened out. Yeah, we're going three wide. I don't care. Are we three wide right now? Is Queen Elizabeth? No. It looks like that's either Elmer Fudd or Jay Christ up here. Oh, neither. Ninja Turtles, that green and red combo. have enough to catch the turtles here. Eh, two to go. No. As Andre said when he brought me down to earth going to commercial, like, it's not, <laughs> I'm stressing about if I'm going to win this championship not a big deal <laughs> but I do want to set a good foundation on this point system and make sure it works which I think it does it's just some of these cars are just too good they're not following the same averages that those simmed seasons showed let's see what kind of speed I can keep here if I can get around the turtles in three and four, but probably not. I don't know. I'm trying to get into their into the draft here. One more lap. I could have done this with one more lap. I don't know here. Come on. I, I might get them if I can not hit the wall. Now, even scrubbing the wall, that didn't scrub off enough speed for that to matter. All right, there's the play. Yeah, maybe you noticed I was able to fix the uh, all the warping and the replay. It has to do with the 3DF, 3D FX wrapper I use. So, uh, our next Daytona <laughs> race we have in Daytona like four months from now or whenever that was, whenever that is, we'll get that fixed. So yeah, let's check out these um, check out these results brought to you by <laughs> whatever. I'm just stalling to go find the image here. Yeah, Megan the Stallion won. 
I don't know. I don't know what happened there on Pit Road. I was trying to make sense of it. Um, if anyone has a clue on what happened there, let me know. Because I focused on Mona Lisa because I wanted to see how long her pit stop was. And she was on Pit Road for like 97,000 minutes. Like, I don't know. So Pocahontas led a lap. Wonder Woman stayed up there. Abe Lincoln, big points name. This isn't looking good. And it's, it's, wait till you see this next, because we're going to recap this whole first season here in a, just about 10 seconds. And you're going to see the point situation. But you're going to see our path to glory, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, Casey Kane had the pole, and he was able to lead a lap. So good for him, I guess. And my cat was two laps down. And then I meant to find those Martin Luther King and Rowdy Burns DNFs, but... I was kind of jammed up about the uh, replay being all warpy. And it flustered me, so I forgot. Um, all right, now here's... Here we go. This is the points recap for the uh, first 15 races. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln has 18.39. And I'd have to go back and check the Charlotte race. I'm not prepared for this. But he's... He's about 150 points ahead of what I expected the leader to have so far. So that's not good. And we're underperforming compared to where I, what I, it, this isn't good stuff. But our path to glory is over there on the right, the DNFs. You can see all of these leaders. There's a reason they are racking up points. It's because they have not DNF. Megan the Stallion, she's just a beast, like, apparently. So, I, I don't know. We, we need DNFs from all of these drivers. At least one, maybe. We need another one from Megan the Stallion. We need all these cars to DNF and just have some bad, <laughs> have a bad season, have a bad second half of the season. Just case closed. Um, Mona Lisa has three DNFs, but is somehow up there. In case you can't. I mean, once you get down there, it gets to be silly. And then going to the second page. Um, I don't know. These it's just just stats. Have fun with them. But yeah, Old McDonald is the worst. Elmer Fudd, Rowdy Burns. I suspected whenever I was talking about it that he that they would suck and they do. Wonder Woman, Queen Elizabeth. What a fall. She was like dominant. I don't think she was ever in the points lead, but she was up there for a while and she just she's dropped, plummeted. So it can happen. We just need all these other cars to do it as well. Like, why can't... Okay, I don't want to root for O.J. Simpson, but let's get Elvis Presley some wins. Let's start rooting for Elvira. Basically, look at all these women down there, too. So we got to root for all these women. Get Megan the Stallion out of there. And you see me, nine top tens. I should have about 12 top tens right now. Uh, uh, as far as the pace that I need. And, like, six top five, seven top five, something like that. Two wins, okay. I'll take maybe five wins over the course of the season. But the second half of the season, I just... I, I can't, I can't have a race like this. We just got to dominate. <laughs> but uh, man, I, I like the, I like the challenge. We're just gonna go all in in the second half. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the next race is gonna be Loudon, and uh, we'll be moving to the ESPN portion of the season. So I'm looking forward to all that. So that's it, man. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the views, comments, likes, subscriptions. We got 15 races to go. Thanks for watching.